I'm not sure about this. This 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 feels like a very bad idea. I really, really, really don't like exercise. Oh god. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't enjoy the effects of exercising. Like, I do often feel good after I've exercised. And exercise does have a really good effect on my mental health. So I enjoy the benefits of exercise, but I can't really say that there's many times I actively enjoy exercising. So what I'm trying to say is exercise is something I do as a responsible adult because I have to. Not because I want to. I also quite like my food, so if I didn't exercise, I'd really be in trouble. But there is actually one form of exercise I do actually quite enjoy. This is a Fitbit. It can do all sorts of fancy things like measure your heart rate, but the main thing I use it for is counting steps. Now, a lot of people use Fitbits to count their steps, and the golden number that most people are aiming for is 10,000. This number's just made up, by the way, by a Japanese marketing company, but it's the number that is generally accepted to be the healthy number, and the NHS sort of back that up too. So yeah, the one exercise I do quite enjoy is walking. So, um, let's get in the car. Now there's a reason why today in particular I'm talking about my love of walking because it should be obvious, I walk in most of my videos but the reason that I'm doing it today is because I'm about to go and meet one of my favourite guests of the entire 30 Day Living in a Van series and walking is going to feature prominently. I'm, se I'm seriously so excited to go back and meet this person today. So why is it, Matthew, that every time I meet you it's raining? What's going on? Uh, every single time? I don't know. Just you. It's just me, is it? Yeah. Right, well I am here with Matthew and Alex Puller. Hello. I'm just putting my jacket on. <laughs> yeah. no, that's alright. So if anyone doesn't remember or didn't watch the 30 day challenge, Matthew is... Oh no. I mean it's really wet. It is. It's, it's raining. <laughs> It wasn't <laughs> Here's the thing, we keep telling ourselves that the weather will get better and that we just need to wait for it to get better and it just keeps getting worse. Quick reminder, I met Matthew... Well, how, long, how long was it ago now? A month ago? Three weeks ago? And we took part in a Strava art challenge and I absolutely destroyed him. Like, it was embarrassing. What, do you, what did you yeah, think, Alex? It was very embarrassing. <laughs> was very embarrassing. This is the field as well that it took place. Yeah, this was the... This was the scene of my great victory. Yeah, you yeah. beat a kid with cancer, well done. In your face! Yeah. I'm Matthew, or oh, running through cancer. I have been diagnosed with cancer three times. So the last time I met you, you'd just been diagnosed with your spinal cancer. Yeah. And you were just about to undergo radiotherapy. I think you were maybe a couple of days out from yeah. actually starting. There we go. Blue skies. After making Matthew sit in the rain for a long time. He's walking. He's walking. When I met up with Matthew a little while ago, you were about to do 10,000 10, steps a day for the entire course of your radiotherapy. Yes. Which I think really inspired quite a lot of people. You're now only three days away from finishing your radiotherapy, is that right? Is it fair to say it's been a bit more brutal than your previous radiotherapy? Definitely. Like definitely. It's uh, a lot. Harder than I thought it would be with uh, swelling and stuff. I could cope with just on the brain, but it's on the spine as well. Take it out with you, but uh, I'm still walking. You're still walking. The point is, you're still walking. Exactly. The radiotherapy was on the spine. Matthew has previously had radiotherapy for a brain tumour. So the, the, the therapy has been a lot more brutal than he'd anticipated. So not been able to do the 10,000 steps a day that he wished. But, Alex, is it the case that a lot of people have been helping out, like helping bump up the steps yeah, for him? Yeah, everyone's been helping out. Friends with uh, people with cancer as well, as well as myself, family, loads of different friends have been uh, clubbing together and getting more than 10,000 steps. So some the, on their own, some all together. So the steps are still being reached, and even though 
Matthew's finding it a lot harder to walk, I think, it, it, than, than he anticipated. Still walking. I think I've got about 2,000 today. 2,000? Yeah. Bloody hell. And that's even though you've had a course of radiotherapy today? Yeah. Just need to stay moving, really. Yeah. I'm not sure about this. This 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 feels like a very bad idea. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> Before I get any sort of like hate in the comments, this was not my suggestion. Oh, my I didn't suggest. This is my suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, to, now for the backflip. What shirt is that? What shirt are you wearing? We're going to have that to 2000... up 2007. So you've got like a bit of a, a football shirt thing going on at the moment, haven't uh, you? You've got like... I've noticed that since you've been doing your radiotherapy, you've got really gotten into sort of like yeah. collecting like vintage football shirts. Yeah, I always collected them. But yeah. then I, just, I thought of just posting something like... It'd be nice to have a football shirt for every uh, radiotherapy session. Yeah. And loads of people have just sent so, so I've had about a hundred. hundred? Where the hell do you keep them all? A hundred? I don't know. <laughs> I saw on Twitter the other day that you had um, a video message as well from like a load of Man United Man players United, as well. yeah. I found funny... Uh, Sad, you're a massive United fan. Was it, was it Lindelof that said that? Yeah. Even though you sport Sunderland and yeah. have a soft spot for City. <laughs> yeah. Your message for you and uh, wish you all the best. I heard that you're a massive United fan, so uh, we're gonna try and play our best this season uh, for you. Take care and I wish you all the best. I've got a shirt, a official Zimbabwean um, national team football shirt. Well, let's try it on. Look at that. Fits perfectly. Like a glove. Yeah. Sorry I didn't get you anything, Alex. No, it's fine. It's fine. I actually think it's about to chuck it down again. Let's wrap this up so that I don't keep you like sat out in the rain for ages. You are finishing your radiotherapy on Thursday. Yeah. So that's the end of like the 10,000 step a day challenge, but you're going to finish with a with a big bang, so to speak. Put a few tweets and post it out on Facebook, Instagram, uh, wondering if people will walk 10,000 steps on Friday and see how many steps we can get. Then I'll count them all up and see how many we've got. Basically on Friday, you're seeing how many people you can get to do 10,000 steps and you yeah. want people on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook to share with you the steps that they've yeah. done so that we can calculate this all up. So right, what is your Twitter account again? Is it at running through cancer? And Instagram? At running through cancer. And Facebook is running through cancer. Right, so Friday, whoever's watching this, do 10,000 steps, please, I beg you. I, I you know, implore you to do it and share that with Matthew, at running through cancer. Let's see how many we can do it. And the other thing is, if you haven't yet, I know last time when you were on, a lot of people did. Yeah. If you haven't donated yet, I'm going to leave the link to your fundraiser down below. Um, just, you're, you're raising money for MOVE, aren't you? MOVE charity, yeah. So it means a lot that I can get people active, although I'm not very active, so kind of links with the charity, <laughs> yeah. luckily. Right, it's starting to rain. Okay. I'm going to let you go inside because uh, this is ridiculous. Alex, thank you so thank much. You. There we go. See you later. One of those. One of those, <laughs> right. You. See you later, guys. See you. So yeah, I hate exercise, but I do like walking. And this Friday, I'm gonna be doing 10,000 steps for Matthew Pullen, and I hope you guys join in with that too. So yeah, I'm gonna get my practice in. Always running to get my camera. 